Hi, uh, my name is Yaj and I'm an artist here at Las Vegas, Nevada. In the year that I was taking part of the BFA program here at UNLV, I practiced and studied sculpture, digital photography, and installation art. I first started sculpting while attempting to release some bad life experiences. I thought that making objects with intention and physically touching pieces would somehow release the memories that I was trying to let go of. So I made the installation Secrets which was centered around this assemblage toilet seat sculpture. It was for the first time for me going through an entire process of creating a piece and then manifesting the vision even further by setting up an installation. Uh, not long after the pandemic happened, I wasn't depressed or sad or anxious or in panic from the pandemic because I was already all of that before. But the emotional roller coaster of my late teens, early 20s stopped, and my life wasn't in a chaotic state that I was forced to hold myself and my family together. So I began manipulating photographs to create a fantasy. In this piece, Neverland, I assigned two places for my past to each of the windows in my current bedroom. This piece is emotionally closest to me because it is one of very few artworks that I made that reflects on the time of its creation. Memory Lane reflects on friendship. I think that artists are eternally inspired by their life experiences and my experiences are greatly influenced by my friends. My friends who come from very different social economic backgrounds, cultures and interests are my teachers, my protectors and my family. The significance of the location, the moments captured in the concrete, the figure that's ready to move, all memoirs to my friends and people who represent where I come from. In Tangerine, I captured a moment in my memory when the moon was in the light evening sky. My friends and I were enjoying the cool fall air, but all I could think about was the color of my tangerine and the warm atmosphere of the company. I replaced sensible objects in the sky with things that didn't belong there. I connected two unrelated objects by using my personal memory. For me, it's a way of remembering that location, that time, and those people in the moment. But there was a limitation to what I could imagine, and I had to take a step back. I randomly came across a movie projector one day. Projectors allowed me to deliver a photo and its story in a different way. So with this, I centralized the act of projecting images and videos on artworks made with transparency and transparent materials. I had to define what I was doing, making, and why because I wasn't transferring trauma and emotion to my pieces. So I drew back to my past and figured out ways to bring myself out of that time and into today. So came the Unrequited series. I used old photographs and combined it with resin and acrylic, which are non-reversible materials. It's part of the message of my piece. Projecting on chemically hardened medium is metaphoric to an unattained circumstance. I wish I could go back, but I know I can't. A lot of nostalgia is prevalent in my work. When I try a new style of making art or exploring an unknown genre or material, I try not to think too much about it. So with Dairy Go Around Carousel, I comically chose a theme irrelevant to the rest of my work. I think this piece in particular helped me realize that sometimes I work with subconscious purposes in my life. Even though I was creating by intuition, I've subconsciously focused on the fact that movements in time are irreversible. Right now and in the future, I'm exploring the potential of my gummy bear resin projections. I'm putting pressure on the photographs to have a story, because the acrylic and resin pieces won't change forms. It's my way of controlling how I think. I'm always going to be in my body in this world, but my memories are constantly changing and being added or taken away. My art is always going to be my distant self-portraits. I've learned so much about myself through art and it's a consistent and constant journey. I wanted to say thank you to all my friends who are going through it with me. I think my friends, colleagues, and fellow artists are basically other versions of myself and I want to say a word of appreciation for them. I also want to thank you for watching through this video and I hope you enjoyed my art.